Hey guys, this is Warren VKL Gadget TV and what I have right here isn't just any pastel color speakers. They are Sonic Gear's latest reference speakers, which we actually did one a couple of weeks ago. But this one right here is another model. They are the Studio Pods VHD. It is a 2.0 speaker system. Each of these colors come with another pair of speakers, but I've just merely put them like this so that you guys can see this beautiful pastel color speakers, all right? So we have the red color model, we have the mint color and the pink color right here. And the reason why they are called Sonic Gears reference speakers doesn't mean they are actually reference speakers per se, but they are actually the brand's best speakers that you can buy right now. These things retail at 599 ringgit, but for a limited time, you can buy it at 499 ringgit at our store at Good Deals by KLGG. So let's get started on the review and here's what you need to know about them. Now that you have seen the respective colors of the Studio Pod VHD, you do realize that there is a black bar right over here. And yes, this is the remote control of the Studio Pod VHD. It is super convenient with this remote control right here because this is what the other Sonic Gear reference speaker, which is the Studio Box 2 HD, doesn't have and makes it a hassle to control your music playback. So I'm really thankful that it has a remote control. Now, speaking of the controls, once you turn over to the back of the speaker right over here, now I did mention that it actually comes in pairs, so this is actually one of it. So you do get to control the volume, bass, and treble levels with these knobs right over here. They actually feel really solid and nice. And there are of course a couple of buttons right over here, one being the power button, the input source button, and the equalizer button right over here. So these speakers already have their preset EQ so that you can switch between uh, different EQs depending on the content that you are listening to. Now in terms of inputs, it is rather similar to the Boxy Studio Box 2 HD that we reviewed a couple of weeks ago. It comes with RCA inputs and you also get an optical input which is very very interesting because it is kind of like the first time for this kind of speakers to come with optical inputs so that you can be assured of really good sound quality. And the speaker out, uh, output right over here is actually for the other pair of the speaker which also comes with a similar port. And finally, you get the power port right over here so it's actually very very straightforward. One of the things that I'm very happy about the Studio Pod VHD isn't just the color options that you get to choose from, but also its compact form factor. To be honest, these speakers do not look big at all. I expect them to be actually slightly taller, but in fact, it has actually impressed me with its compact form factor so that it doesn't take up a lot of desk space. In terms of measurements, the Studio Pod VHD is about 22 centimeters tall, 14 centimeters wide, and 13 centimeters in terms of depth. And that is actually very, very compact for a pair of 2.0 speakers, and it will fit well on most desks, uh, such as this one. This is actually an IKEA desk that is about 160 centimeters long, so you can definitely put an ultrawide monitor, a 34 inch one, and still have space for these speakers. So this is how the Studio Pod VHD will look like when you take the other pair out of the box. They are actually connected through a wire here, unfortunately not wireless, but this is actually a good thing so that it ensures good, reliable audio, right? So we are going to connect this speakers over Bluetooth. This is a Bluetooth 5.0 speaker, by the way, and you should actually see a blue light that's flashing right under, under here. There's actually an LED indicator to show the power operation mode of this uh, speaker. So you can actually choose between the input modes by just pressing on the remote here. And there's even playback controls here, which is actually very, very convenient. So I'm just going to connect uh, my iPhone 13 Pro over to the Studio Pod VHD. And you should actually hear a chime in a bit. There we go. Can you actually hear the deep bass? It is actually very, very impressive. I can tell you that. And now we are just going to play some audio to let you guys hear uh, on how well the Studio Pop VHD will sound like. So I recommend at this point of time, you start putting on headphones to listen to how well they actually sound. <laughs> So what do you guys think about the sound quality? 
it's pretty impressive, right? Now, as you can see in the sound test, we do actually switch between EQs to let you hear how good the sound quality is. And that EQ can be switched uh, on the remote right over here because you get three uh, respective buttons to switch between movie, music, and dialogue. So it will actually enhance on that particular frequency depending on the EQ that you set. And I think that is actually pretty sweet for this pair of speakers. It's just a shame that it doesn't have an app for you to customize the audio or do some other features out there. But I guess what Sonic Gear is trying to focus right here is actually its sound quality. And I really think this is the best speakers that Sonic Gear has ever produced for consumers. All right, so that's all for my review of the Sonic Gear Studio Pod VHD. They are currently retailing at 499 ringgit for a limited time at our store at Good Deals by KLGG. You can also pay through installments with three months zero percent installment over Atomi or my IOU. So remember, this is a limited time promotion. You are getting a hundred ringgit off its usual price. So go check out now in the link in the description. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up, and I will see you guys in the next upload.